Hello guys, in this tutorial I will start to introduce what is a door and how you can create your door. I will start in this tutorial and will continue in the next part. Thank you for watching and let's get started. First, let's create the new family. We'll open new family and we're not gonna choose the door type. Where is door type? Door type. Because uh, at the first uh, moment we will do um, geometry to our flash door. So in the door type we will just put our door inside in this, uh, in this hole. We will open generic specific. Uh, hold on. Yeah, specific equipment. This one. Let's open up it. As you see, this just a clean page without any dimension and writings. And this is what I need. We should create reference plane. So you can simply click here and choose the reference plane. Or you can simply type on your keyboard RP and let's draw it. One here, one here, and one above, and one here. Let's make it a bit bigger. Like this. We will change everything, just simply leave like this. So let's close that and let's go again to the family, new, and let's create new one. What we're gonna do in this uh, project, we will change the, our category. So let's go to category and change to generic model. And now let's create the some dimension. Simply you can find here it's DI align dimensions or you can write on your keyboard DI. So we will make the from the left side, center and right side and click on the empty space and same here empty space as you remember. And overall dimension from here to here and overall from here to here here. But uh, for this uh, this one, I want it's equal. So let's make it equal, and this one too equal. So, as we, you know, we have the reference plane, and we should get give them some names. So we will change the is reference is left, as you see, it's left, and we'll give the name left, left. Okay, apply. So let's check it. Yeah, everything okay. And this one, as you guess, it's right. Right, apply. And for this line, we'll give the name uh, exterior. Exterior and the face, it will be back. Here will be interior. And face uh, front here. And now let's create the some new uh, family types. Let's go to family types and let's create new one, new parameter. Uh, leave everything like that. Just name with. Let's type it OK. And let's make it uh, 1000 millimeters. Apply. Okay. Oh, yeah. We need one more. Let's create new one. And we need uh, now height, height. Let's create it. And one more thickness. As you know, the standard high from the, for the door is 2,100 millimeters, and for thickness it's around 
40 or 50 millimeters uh, as your door. Let's make like this. Okay, apply. Okay, panel. And few steps more on our overall dimension, we will uh, apply our labels. So go to ribbon, and you can see here width. Let's change to width uh, and thickness. Thickness here. Okay. And as you understand, we don't have our mm, high. For that, we're going to elevation. Let's go to the front. And as you see, we need reference plane. So as you remember, we just make a reference plane. Click by here or just RP. Let's create somewhere. Let's give to them name. Name it will be top. And is references of, of course, top. It's here. Apply. Uh, now we need, we need dimension. DI. From here to here. Click on some empty space, click on our dimension, and again, label on our ribbon menu, uh, hi, here, done, we have our box, let's make it, uh, cannot, uh, yeah, because this is standard, so let's apply that, and now edit the profile, and let's draw our profile. Something like that. Just you can draw a bit like draft. Okay, like this. And now let's create the reference plane because we are right guys. We are using the reference plane for everything. Like this and like this. And one little thing what we're gonna do. Just click on our extrusion and go to material and again the small bottom. And let's create the uh, material, material, door, glass. Okay, and apply the glass. Okay, so let's go back to our the front view. And as you know, we have here some gap. And we need to make the some corner uh, frame by sweep. Let's go back to create and let's use sweep. And now we can why we not apply? Uh, we should use the align dimension from here to here, here here. This one, and actually, this, 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 this is here, 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 here. Uh, yeah, everything okay. Uh, okay, the couple time of escape. Let's change the view. It's a bit noisy. Twenty-five. It's too much. Let's make to five. Yeah, it's more, more better. And now let's change the dimension. Dimension of this to 10 millimeter, no, 15 actually. 15 here, 15 here, oh, too much, 15, and 25 to here. And as you understand, we need to lock it. Everything, every dimension, we will lock it. And now we use previous command align and from this to this lock it this to this lock it and again and again lock it and this to this lock it lock it and let's make enter now let's go to the 3d view and as you see we have only the our profile yeah our profile and our path so for that we just will apply and as you see we have our frame 
on, on, on the door. So click on the our frame and one last thing and main thing material. Let's create material. Material frame window. Let's click OK. Let's click apply. So why why we did so so much uh, parameters and reference planes? Yes, we will save, but not now. For example, as you see, we will change now window height from example to 160, 600. I mean 1,600. And okay, and you see, changing our frame, glass, and uh, our hole, everything changing, right? and uh, everything is fixed so let's leave it like that and let's go and to our ribbon and we will save our project now and now we need to add one more parameter for that we are going to our elevation front view and as you see the our height not right now so let's go again inside on our reference Oh, not sorry. Let's go back again to the front and now align, align this and this and lock it. Couple time of escape and now mm, click on our extrusion. Let's go to material, material parameter and click the small button here. Let's create the material. Material flush material door and everything okay let's okay and let's apply this material for this door so now we'll go to create and choose the extrusion but we not will put our extrusion now because we need uh, our extrusion a bit bigger than our hole so for that go to create and choose the reference plane and let's draw it a bit bigger than our hole like this one by one perfect and now we need to put dimensions from this side to this from this to this again let's put here from this to this sorry like this here you have here you have Everything, everything okay. Couple time of FK escape, and we'll change our dimension of this one to 15 millimeters, and let's lock it. Lock it. Choose our dimension, 15 millimeters. Enter. Choose the dimension and lock it, and again everywhere 15 here choose our dimension waste lock here oh not this one this one 15 enter and waste our dimension here locked before we will continue let's save our project save as save the family I'll save here and let's give the name uh, door one flush and let's option just only one maximum backups and save it. What we're gonna do now? Be sure you're now on inside in our modify create extrusion and we should now choose the rectangle just draw it somewhere out escape and use the align al and as previous one we just align to our reference plane our extrusion like this and don't forget lock it lock it done so now we just will click on the bottom finish edit mode and we have this uh, extrusion here so let's go to the left 
view double click on the middle mouse and as you see it's not 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 right uh, we're just going to align oh sorry align from this one to this one and lock it and from this to this and lock it that's it for continue we will do the um, here the small window uh, let's go back to create and choose again the reference plane or as you already know RP And let's draw some lines some few lines here like this and like this Yes And we need now a line dimension AI Sorry AI Oh, di sorry it's my mistake uh, from the middle to this one from here to here and here okay this this everything here everything here okay couple time of FK escape and now we should create new family types actually yeah delete all dimension <coughs> and let's create new one again and by part here 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 and here because we need separated it was my mistake so click on here and lock it and click on here lock it uh, be sure here and here it's 120 millimeters this is a uh, gap so and let's give to dimension a label uh, window weight here 150 okay and window height here so this is our hole in our door if we will change we should be we should 800 for example yeah this is working this this size not changing changing only this one Okay, let's leave it like that. As you see on the plan view, we don't have here glass, so let's put it on the glass. Go to again to the left view. Oh no, front. We worked on the front, and let's create the new extrusion again rectangular, and let's make it like this. Doesn't matter for now, and let's choose the align again and align by inside the, the reference plane what we did before, and lock it here to here and lock it here here lock it and one more here to here lock it that's it let's put the okay and let's go to left view as you see this is not on the middle and it's a bit so bigger so what what i need uh, we have the here extrusion and an extrusion start as you know the glass of thickness let's make the uh, fireproof like uh, 10 millimeters so it means by 5 millimeter one side and 5 millimeter other side and can't make extrusion the blah 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 delete element no we don't need delete element uh, let's make like this 5 here enter and 5 here enter he cannot why cannot let's make it 10 and 5 10 and 5 here one he, 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 he can do yeah, I know the problem because it is not in the center. Depth. Ah, yeah, we have depth. It's okay. So, and let's align it by the this one and by its center. No, it can't work. So, let's solve this problem. I know this is nothing, but one solve this problem uh, okay let's make it me minus 5 here and enter and apply yes and here let's make the 5 now it's exactly under the middle okay and as you just understand we did not the void we did the geometry double click on middle mouse and as you see on our 3d this is not a void so let's make it as a void 
click on our uh, geometry extrusion and let's change the solid to the void apply it and now we can cut it that's it we have the void couple of tabs of escape and let's go back to reference plane let's create new one and this is will be vision window window let's type of k let's put it down create new one vision height okay and also let's put it down okay oh uh, vision window fit and here to let's change it in the height okay height will be around six, 600 millimeters and width will be uh, 150 millimeters okay okay for now let's go back to our floor plan reference level double click on the middle mouse and we will center our drawing um, okay here is okay let's create our shape oh sorry my mistake extrusion just draw somewhere your extrusion by line or by rectangle i prefer by rectangle uh, let's switch off the weight escape now we will use the align as you see it's here or you can just type on the keyboard al so choose your reference plane and uh, our rectangle and lock it and let's create its overall like this and like this okay done and so what we're gonna do now so let's make the sketch the path sketch the path it's where our profile will gonna gonna start or no I mean making the sweep uh, okay the now we use a line and let's align to inside our reference plane so reference plane our sketch path reference plane sketch path wait there's the reference plane sketch up like this and one more like this so on this stage we finish but uh, we don't have profile because we cannot draw here profile for that we're going to left view we can see now our profile we have here our gap so let's draw our profile now in next lesson we will continue to do the doors uh, i will do two more type of the door with the full of glass and with some special equipments like the handle and we will use it in our projects uh, thank you for watching guys and see you next time.